Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano, and I'm going to be answering your questions about how I do what I do. Alright, one of the questions that I get asked all the time is, do you only paint on toms? The answer to that is no. I can paint on anything. In fact, a little secret here, I really don't even like painting on toms that much. They're kind of a pain. And I'll go into that a little bit later as to why they're such a pain or you know what goes into it. But uh, I can definitely paint on whatever. You can do chucks. I did some chucks I'm going to be working on here. Uh, vans. Heck, even bobs are a bit better than painting on toms. So, I mean, there's that. Another question I get all the time is, do you just paint Disney? Is that all you paint? Like. Can, is it just characters, just cartoons, just Disney? No, I will gladly paint anything else. You know, it also doesn't hurt that I'm kind of a big Disney nerd. You name it. Sports teams, movies. Uh, here are a couple examples of stuff I did. Some Hannibal Lecter, um, John C. Riley is a vampire, if any of you saw that movie. Kind of a weird request, but you know, hey, it came out cool. Um, you name it though, I will be glad to do it. One of the other questions I get all the time is, how much? And also, why so much? These girls on Pinterest say they're way too expensive. Uh, Emily and Brittany, sorry, but let me tell you why they're so expensive. The prices are gonna vary depending on like how much goes into it. The way I factor my prices, a pair of Toms costs 48 bucks. If you go to toms.com, that's how much they are, $48. Every once in a while you can get a coupon, they get a little cheaper, which is nice. Right off the bat, you're at 50 bucks. It's gonna cost me seven bucks to send that to you. Then we gotta think about time it actually takes to paint these things. I do some heavily detailed stuff on itty bitty little space. You know, sometimes a pair of shoes will take me eight, maybe 10, almost 12 hours, depending on how much needs to go in that. 12 hours times hopefully a good wage. I'm not flipping burgers here. No offense to anyone who flips burgers. Hey, job's a job. I, I love hamburgers. But seriously, everyone's gotta eat hamburgers. That kind of gives you an idea. So you've got your 50 bucks, you've got your seven dollars to ship, you've got my time for painting, and then there's all those other costs that you don't really think of. Supplies, paint, it costs a couple bucks for each tube. Now that's just for one color. Some of these designs will take, I don't know, 12 colors. Now I don't use a whole tube on each shoe, but I do have to use, you know, a good amount. There's time I have to spend marketing on Facebook and Instagram and Tumblr and being everywhere, creating these videos. You know, that, that goes into it too. I have to be somewhat productive with it or else it's just a waste. So if you wonder why the shoes will range between 125 to almost $200, that's why, because they take a lot to put together. It's not just like I have a magic machine that just goes, boom, shoes, shoes are ready, there you go. So no, it, it takes a lot. They take a lot of hours to put in to make them look good. Now, if you want me to put you know, garbage on there and send it out, then cool, I'll do so. Give me 20 bucks, on top of the cost, of course. I'm not, not just 20 bucks. After some of my last videos, I think it was the Frozen video, a lot of you people asked me on Instagram What's up with the lighter? Why the lighter? What does it do? And uh, the cool thing about the lighter is it kind of, it, it's how I prep the shoes. I mentioned earlier that Toms were kind of a pain in the There's these tiny, tiny, tiny little hairs. And sometimes when you're trying to paint something really detailed, those hairs, they get in the way and they'll pull the paint somewhere where you don't want it. And you're, you know, you're going along, you're going along and all of a sudden, paint goes the other way. And you just want to just throw everything. You just Ah. But what I do is I'll take the lighter and I'll you know take it right against the edge of the shoe there and I'll just burn those hairs away. It burns most of them, but you have to be careful not to leave it too long because it'll actually burn the shoe, which is not good. I don't like sending out burnt shoes to people, but I will sometimes send out free socks. <laughs> now they're not really like socks like to wear. I use these things. It's literally like, uh, you know, it's just the old like rag. I mean, it's, it's a sock, but I don't wear white socks. I think someone gave these to me and I was like, well, gotta use them for something. Thanks for the socks. So I use them to actually clean my brushes and 
test paints out, you know, make sure they come out the right color. Um, but every once in a while, I'll stuff the bottom of the shoe with them because it's better than these cardboard inserts. These things are sometimes weird to paint on. So I'll stuff it, you know, inside the shoe to give like a rounded thing there and it's easier to paint on, makes it smoother. But then I'll go ship them out and like the next day or even after I just come home from the post office, I'll be looking around, I'll be like, oh my God, where are my socks? So a couple people out there actually have these socks. They're not dirty if you have one. They're just, I mean, they're dirty with paint, but they're not like, no, they're good. They're good. They're, they're all right. Since we're talking about how I prep the shoes and how I get them ready with the lighter and everything, fellow painter Saranimal on Instagram asked, do you put a base coat down before you start painting? In the case of these here, I did just because I want them to have a really cool background. Uh, but for a lot of the shoes that I do, I don't like putting a base coat because what it does is when you paint over the whole shoe, it makes it hard. And then the shoe's not flexible and it's weird. Plus, I really think they look better when it's just like characters without so much of a background, when it's just them. They really pop and show better over just the plain fabric. All right, and the number one question that I get asked all the time, like seriously, like all the time you guys love asking me this question uh so i'm gonna answer it here and now and anytime somebody asks me again i'm just gonna direct them to the video and be like here watch the whole thing scan it towards the end but uh <laughs> hopefully that'll answer it and all of these people here and there and everywhere they want to know what kind of paint do i use they didn't all say that but they asked it similar to that what kind of paint do you use what do you how do you do it what do you what kind of paint? That's how you sound. When I sit around doing impressions of you guys. Next. And this is it. The uh, mystery solved, everybody. Liquitex Basics. Now, what it is, Liquitex is an acrylic paint, so as it dries, and I tell this to everyone, it's part of my spiel. So if I sound really robotic, that's why, because I've said it a billion times, and I'm just, I'm done saying it. I'm not really, I'll answer whoever. But, so what it does is, it actually, it dries hard, but rubbery. So when it's on the fabric, it's flexible and it's not gonna break or anything, but it's also waterproof. Like once it's dry and it dries in like five minutes, that's it, you can throw water on there. It's like plastic pretty much. Um, but I use a ton of it and you'll probably see what they look like now. And there's all the weird colors and stuff. So that's what I use to help, you know, to make sure it doesn't wash off, to make sure they don't crack, you know, to really make sure that they last. Uh, in fact, in most cases, like some of the first pair, this pair, wherever it is, the artwork will actually like still be there and there will be like holes in the back of the shoe and like a big toe sticking out. Um, no, I've never seen anyone with a toe sticking out of their shoe. So, I mean, I hope that answers most of your questions. If there's something that I didn't go over or something else you wanna know, like how do I do it? Why do I do it? What, why? Leave it down below. There's a place down there. You can write comments and stuff. You can, you know, ask me things and I'll be really happy to answer. So. Take a minute, think about what you want to ask me. Be sure to leave it down below. I love answering questions and I love seeing comments. I live for comments and hamburgers, but mostly comments. That's a total lie. I would rather have a hamburger than a comment. Send your burgers here at, you can send them to Dano Flores at, leave your comments below, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna teach you guys how to paint one of my first designs I've ever made. Here's a picture of it. Um, I'm gonna do a step-by-step kind of tutorial. It's gonna be tough because those things take me a couple hours to do and I don't wanna make a video that lasts a couple hours, but I will break it down into as simple a process as possible so that you guys can paint your own. If you think that'd be a great idea, let me know in the comments below if you wanna watch it. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Dano Flores, on Instagram, at Dano Flores, Google Plus, I'm pretty sure it's at Dano Flores, actually it's the Dano channel. Be sure to subscribe, and I will catch you all later.